What's up you guys? It is Friday afternoon and we are going to be doing a little weekend vlog. Um, Remy and I are just out running some errands right now. We did our first one. That was a total fail at Zara. Um, I was going to ask you guys, if you have an in-store location where you live, if you don't have the receipt and you want to just like return it for like in-store credit or something, does your store offer that? Or is every store like mine where you have to if you don't have a receipt you basically have to find an item in the store for the exact same price and that is the only way that you can like get something different so for example i had two things i had one thing for me one thing for remy and my total was like 47.90 and hers was like 27.90 or something very specific and so i was like looking around the store and i'd find something cute and then it would be like two dollars off and like at this point i don't even care if i would like lose a couple dollars just like i want something that's like nice and cute and like would fit us um but they won't let you do that and i'm just like it's kind of annoying yeah. they're like you can get a different size but i was like it's not the size that's the problem i just don't like what i got mm -hmm. i know i should just keep my receipt it's my bad but is all zara stores like that or is it just minneapolis minneapolis's location i don't know also the line would have taken me an hour plus to get through and with a baby that's just not gonna happen so our first errand was a fail um, but now we are going to run into the grocery store, grab some groceries for the weekend. David's having a couple of friends over tonight and I offered to make a little appetizer for them. So we're going to do that. And then we also have my grandma's 90th birthday this weekend. A lot of birthdays in March and, um, I offered to bring the cake. So I ordered a cake from a really cute company, um, that we'll pick up tomorrow, but, um, I just got some cupcakes to go along with the cake because there's a lot of people coming so we're grabbing some appetizer stuff stuff for breakfast tomorrow and cupcakes so hopefully this stop is a little bit more successful than the last because I still got all my Zara stuff this is the dress that I was gonna return for Remy it's super cute I got it for her birthday but um, she didn't end up wearing it I feel like she could wear it for Easter or something it is really cute so I'll maybe just keep this but anyways I'll shut up about Zara now so I'm gonna grab my wallet and my baby we're gonna go into the store Okay, this afternoon went way too fast. Remy, I don't really know what's wrong with her. She seems fine now, but she literally just cried for like two hours straight and kind of kept like falling asleep. So I don't know if she doesn't feel good, if she's teething, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, so I've been kind of just doing that this afternoon. But um, like I said, David's having some friends over for the night and they don't have reservations for dinner until like really late so i wanted just to make like a little appetizer for them and one of my favorite appetizers that i found this year it's by half baked harvest which is no surprise um but it is a buffalo chicken egg roll and they are so good my mouth is literally like watering when i'm talking about them um but that is what i'm going to make the guys for tonight and I think I'm gonna order myself sushi, which I'm so excited about. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make these egg rolls and then also make a cilantro lime ranch dressing for them to like dip them in. So that's the plan. And Remy's gonna just sit here, I think, and have a little snack. Do you want some chicken? We bought this little um, chair for when we went to Florida. We sent it to David's parents' house and we ended up bringing it back with us and when i like need to get stuff done i sometimes just like throw her in this because she likes to be at like the same level as me and she'll honestly like, sit in this for like a half hour and be like completely content with a couple little snacks so got this on amazon it's definitely not the cutest thing but it's been actually really nice to have and i know this summer we'll probably use it a lot when we're like going to cabins and stuff like that but you like sitting up here, don't you, baby? What are you watching, the news?
Okay, quickly, just got ready because they're going to be here in like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, those egg rolls are super, super good and really easy to make. Um, you basically, I buy a rotisserie chicken so I don't even have to like bake the chicken or anything. And then you mix it all together, roll them up, and then stick them in the oven and they turn out really well. I think she said you can do egg rolls or um, like corn tortillas which I think would be a good way to use up corn tortillas because when you buy a pack, you usually get like 100 and we never go through that many. So I'm gonna remember that the next time I have those. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna wait till they get here to put them in, but I will show you guys how they turn out. Um, I'll probably update you guys in a little while. I'm not gonna vlog when they're here because embarrassing. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning. It's already 10.45. We've been up since like 5.15 because Remy does not believe in sleeping in. Um, and I made breakfast for David's friends and then they left probably like an hour ago. So Remy's done for a nap and we're just kind of cleaning up the house and getting ready for the day. Um, today we just kind of have some like errands to run and um, I have to go get a cake for my grandma which I think I talked about yesterday. I had one made from a company that I'm really excited to see it. I feel like they're going to do a really good job. Um, so we're going to go pick that up and then we also are you know hopefully moving in the foreseeable future so we just kind of want to start organizing some closets just before we have to start packing because i don't know you know when you've lived somewhere for a while i feel like you just start accumulating things that you don't even know you have and i don't know packing when things are unorganized sounds like chaos to me so david and i might have a little date night tonight with wine and organizing closets sounds really fun but I actually really enjoy that stuff, which I'm sure is not surprising to any of you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our plan for Saturday. It looks like a beautiful day out. It's like super sunny, but it's freaking like 20 degrees again. It got cold. It's very annoying. But you guys probably don't care about the weather here because it doesn't really matter. So anyways, I'm going to go make myself some coffee because I kind of feel like Change my outfit probably seems like it's a different day but it's so cold that i had to wear a jacket and the sweater head on just didn't work well so we are gonna head out now i think our plan is to drive by a house and then go pick up the cake and then we might stop at one of our favorite breweries on the way home yeah. would that be fun that brewery has a lot of dogs at it usually you'll probably love it yeah so that's fine, we'll bring you guys along. Let's go. Back home, I'm gonna open up this cake. I am so excited. I hate driving with stuff like this in the car though. It's so scary. I was holding it on my lap and I felt like I was squeezing it. So I'm terrified when I open it, it's gonna be messed up or something. But let's see. So I told her I wanted muted colored flowers with some pussy willows because my grandma loves them and that's kind of what the flowers are gonna be like at her party. So that's what I told them. We'll see what they did. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I feel like my grandma's gonna love this. Here is the cake. 
I think it is so pretty. So like I said, I just told her some muted flowers and then pussy willows, which are like these little branches, but I think it is so pretty. My grandma's gonna love this. I'm so excited for her to see it. I don't know if I have a good candle for it is my only problem, but it's so pretty. I'm not touching that cake tomorrow. <laughs> You're carrying it. Scared. Just opening up some packages that I got, and I just ordered these earrings off of Amazon actually. And I'm so impressed with the packaging. I think it's so cute. So I got little gold hoops. This is the brand. I'll link them below. They were under like $20, but they had amazing reviews. And I left my gold hoops in Florida when we went. And I've been wearing these ones that are old from Madewell. And they need to be thrown away. They're like very tarnished and just old. But they're basically the same earring. But just a little nicer so that's fun um i swear there was over like i don't know twenty thousand reviews on them or something crazy but they're really light is the first thing i noticed and the cute packaging which is always a plus in my book okay those are cute i like them The other couple things I got were for Remy's Easter basket. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a video on here or on my Instagram, but I'm going to show just a bunch of different ideas for Easter baskets for kids. I had asked on Instagram if that would have been helpful for some people, and a lot of people said yes. So um, you'll either see it on here or follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. I'll do it on probably both of those for sure. Um, so yeah, here's a little hint. I got her a little baby hydro flask. So cute. She always drinks from ours, which I don't know if hydro flasks may be chuggy now because those Stanley cups are so popular, but, um, I still like my hydro flask. Um, so we got Remy one of these cause she always drinks from ours. Um, so I got her that and then I ordered this adorable book that is super cute. Um, it just has like really simple little drawings in it, but really cute. And then the other thing that I got in the mail is for one of my friends. So I'm not going to show that because she watches these, but that's what I got in the mail. Dave just made some homemade macaroni and cheese for himself and it actually looks really good. We've never really mastered a really good mac and cheese recipe, which is surprising. Have we? Mm-mm. I didn't really follow a specific mm. one for that either. I just kind of threw some things together. It was pretty good. It needs salt. Does it? Mm -hmm. While Remy is napping, David and I are going to start tackling just one closet. Um, our lease for sure is up here at the end of May, so we do need to start packing. I usually am not this like ahead of schedule, but I just feel like with Remy and everything else, I'd rather just do like small bits at a time and be a little bit more organized. So we're gonna tackle this little coat closet. We've never used it for jackets or anything. We've always used it as like a little bar cart area and we've put like our crock pot and any like bigger kitchen gadgets in there. So we're gonna go through that, wrap up any glassware, maybe like, I don't know, just get rid of some things. So we'll do a little uh, time lapse of that.
Okay, we basically have this closet all packed. We just put the boxes back in the closet and I'm kind of hoping to do that kind of throughout our house while we are slowly packing until we like find a place to live. Um, because I just hate that like limbo phase where you're packing but you haven't moved yet and your current house is just a shit show. Um, I know at a certain point you can't help it and it just that's just part of moving. But while we're still here for a few weeks, I'm just gonna kind of try to slowly do kind of like what we just did. That's the goal anyways. Um, I am gonna be selling a bunch of stuff. Um, anything that like either could be picked up from Minneapolis area or anything that I could ship for like relatively like inexpensive, I'm gonna post on my Instagram. So if you guys are wanting to shop some of my stuff, um, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll probably just like randomly be throwing things up there and just seeing if I can sell anything. So yeah, if you wanna check that out, definitely follow me. Um, but yeah, I'm in a cleaner kitchen and then we're probably gonna give Remy a bath and we have to leave at like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to make it to church for my grandma's 90th birthday party. And um, I'm a little like nervous that tomorrow's gonna be wild or we're gonna like miss the beginning of church. So I have to like get everything packed tonight. But anyways, I'm gonna just kind of clean up our kitchen and then We'll check in with you guys. Morning guys, it is already Tuesday. Sorry that I missed Sunday's upload, um, which is with my grandma's birthday and traveling. We just got a little bit behind and I decided to just vlog a little bit at the beginning of this week and then we will post this on Wednesday. Obviously you're watching it now. Um, it is Tuesday and our lease here is up I think I maybe mentioned it earlier, but it's up at the end of May and our plan is to be out by then. So um, our realtor, I always say realtor, our landlord is trying to get this place rented for, um, you know, the next few months or whatever. So he actually asked if I would show two separate groups the house tonight. So my goal today is just to kind of get everything organized, looking nice to show some people. Um, I have a couple closets in this house that I'm sure they'll wanna like look inside and like everybody, I just have a couple closets that I would be totally fine if no one ever saw inside of. So I'm gonna like try to like make those look like a little bit nicer than they do so that I'm not extremely embarrassed to show them. Um, so yeah, my plan is just to kind of tidy up today, do a little food prep and hang out with Remy. So. I think we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning like our bedroom area first. I actually just got a couple packages delivered and I I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, first thing is my favorite texture spray. I just ran out so I placed a new order. It's by Orbe and it's their dry texturizing spray. I'm actually gonna use it right now. It's freezing though. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's my favorite. It smells so good it is expensive i think this is around like 45 dollars but it lasts forever and i use it every time i do my hair um it's just it's the best it's what my like salon uses and i've used it now for i don't know probably like three years it's just literally the best stuff ever i love it so i got that and then I ordered this jumpsuit or I don't know. It's like kind of like a onesie. I don't know how to describe it. It's called the Hot Shot Onesie from Free People. Um, one of my favorite like Instagram moms wears it all the time. And I feel like it would be perfect just for casual days at home. I kind of feel like, um, I mean, I wear pretty casual outfits most days. Um, but I feel like I just was like not really being intentional about what I was buying and I was buying like really cute sweaters and like tops and stuff and like realistically this is the type of outfit I wear most days because I'm at home with Remy or you know we're just like running errands and stuff so I wanted to just buy some like nicer like comfy but cute outfits um, like ones I still look put together because I do like to like I don't know, get dressed up still. Um, it just makes me feel good. So I'm just trying to buy some like cuter, like lounge outfits, I guess we'll call them. 
Um, but this is the little jumpsuit I got and it's long. It's kind of like got the dropped like area here. So I don't know, sometimes that looks weird on me, but then the pants are just like this. And I've just seen it with like a long sleeve white shirt on or like a t-shirt on under it. Should we go try it on? Let's go try it on. Okay, here is the romper. I think it's super cute. I sized down because everyone said it's super oversized, but I just think it's like the perfect at home, but also like throw a jean jacket over this and head to like Target outfit, which is basically what my life is like. So I feel like I'll wear this all the time and it's pretty lightweight. So I feel like it's perfect for spring and even into the summer on like, you know, like colder mornings or something. Um, but yeah super cute um it was 70 dollars, which for pre for for free people isn't terrible and i wanted this color really bad but free people was sold out so i actually found it on dillard's i think is where i found it um but i will link it below if you guys are interested it does come in like i don't know i would say like maybe five to ten more colors um but yeah super cute and then this is what i am actually wearing today it's just this long like sweatshirt dress that I got last fall from H&M. I'm obsessed with it and it's actually back in stock right now and I'm tempted to buy it in the same color again because I kind of stained it from a self tanner um, but it's just like the best thing ever. It's perfect for traveling like if you're flying on an airplane this is like I got so many compliments when I wore it and it's just like the most comfy thing ever. Um, so yeah this is back in stock too if you have been wanting to get it i had a couple of people say that they wanted it but it sold out really quickly last fall so i will put a link for it below but it's like one of my favorite like comfy outfits okay enough with the fun fashion stuff i have to start cleaning um so i'm gonna head upstairs and make my bed and just kind of clean up up there first and then just kind of move about the house until i'm feeling good Okay, we're taking a little break from cleaning and I'm gonna cut up these two pieces of fruit that we have. We have some melon and pineapple that we've had for a few days now. So I'm gonna cut them up just to have in the refrigerator. Um, I might be weird, but I actually really enjoy cutting up like fruits and vegetables. I feel like I should have been a sous chef in my like past life. I think it's just like super relaxing and I don't know, I really like it. That being said, I feel like I, need to take a class on like knife skills because I like doing this so much but I'm definitely like not a professional I always like want to be able to cut like the real like chefs that can like chop super fast um yeah I'm not really that great but anyways I'm gonna cut up this pineapple and melon and then probably give some to Remy because she is obsessed with any fruit and all fruit like crazy which makes sense because that is all that I craved when I was pregnant with her. I ate more fruit in the, those nine months than probably my entire life combined. I could not get enough of fruit. So that's why she likes it so much.
It's a little bit later, and like I said, I went on a little shopping spree the other day just to buy, like I said, some newer like lounge wear. And I've been avoiding buying this set for a really long time because it's just kind of expensive for like a set, but I've been staring at it forever. <gasps> I've seen so many people buying it and they say they love it. So I splurged and bought it. It is this set from Free People that I'm sure you've seen. It is like this one with the buttons. Kind of goes like this and then has the matching like wide legged um, pants. This is like the material of them. Um, I have this other set that my mom had given me for Christmas a couple years ago, or it was last Christmas or something, and I wore it a ton. Oh gosh, Remy's like pulling herself up on the chair you're sitting on, so sorry if it's shaking. Come here, honey. And I wore that set all the time, but over time it just kind of got stained and started to look kind of bad, so I wanted to get a new just like all white set that I could wear, um... All the time so i'm gonna go try this on I, who knew that this was gonna be a little try on haul but um i'm one of those people that once i get a new thing i like immediately have to put it on so i might as well share with you guys if i like it or not okay i was hoping that i wasn't gonna like this as much as i do but i'm obsessed with it it's so comfortable so cute i'm like 5'4 and i feel like it's the perfect length on me um I just love everything about it. I feel like I could wear both pieces separately, but I just love the whole like set. It's so comfy and yeah, okay, I'm sold. I want it in like three colors now, but definitely worth the hype. Okay, I have about an hour before they get here for the showing, so I'm going to feed Remy dinner right now and then just kind of do my final touch-ups, light my candles and yeah, we should be good to go. It's kind of been a crazy day, but I will. She's like on one today. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.